In their final televised debate, the three Democrats running for governor talk taxes. Are taxes too high? That's our big story tonight at 6. Three weeks from now, it'll be up to voters to start the selection process. The primary is June 24th. Of course, early voting begins on June 12th. The deadline to register to vote in that primary is tonight at 9 o'clock. In fact, the tax issue is getting a lot of play from candidates in both parties. The Democrats weighed in last night right here on WBAL-TV. 11 News lead investigative reporter Jane Miller joins us live from the newsroom. She has more for us. Jane? Well, Rod, it's not just the Republicans talking about taxes this political season. One of the Democrats is making a big deal about them, too. A nonpartisan civic. Asked during their debate last evening, what would your top priority be as governor? The three Democratic candidates were on exactly the same page jobs and the economy. I'm focused on jobs and the economy. I the, the number uh, one job is going to be creating jobs. But the three divide on the issue of taxes. Attorney General Doug Gansler favors lowering the corporate income tax. But to reduce incrementally for the small businesses from eight and a quarter to six percent to match Virginia, West Virginia, our neighboring states. And that way we could stop the exodus of small businesses out of our state. Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown calls Gansler's plan a corporate giveaway. He separated himself from Martin O'Malley last evening by saying he doesn't support the cut in the estate tax passed this year. That tax relief for the estate tax never would have made it to Governor Brown's desk. Delegate Heather Mazier wants to legalize marijuana and then tax it to raise money for pre-K education. She also wants the state's millionaires to again pay a higher income tax. That's how I fund my middle class tax relief, by bringing that millionaire's tax back. Gansler hits hardest at the state's existing tax structure. Mazir says it's too favorable to the rich. Brown says he'll reform the tax code. On the topic of the flawed health care exchange, the lieutenant governor said last night he wasn't on the right committee to know what was going on in the planning stage. He had billed himself as the front man for health care reform. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.